and welcome back to the channel uh today i've decided to start a playthrough of one of my most favorite horror games of all time one that i sunk so many hours into when it was originally released on xbox 360 dead space starring the great isaac clark uh i i changed some settings in the nvidia uh, menu, so it should work without having to go into 30 frames. Um, and I'm going to start a new game. Let's show us everything from the very beginning. You know, we'll be playing on medium. Game actually gets pretty difficult. This is, unlike Alan Wake, this is like a true survival horror. You're going to have to really conserve your ammo. Uh, and shoot with intent and focus. Or you'll just be wasting ammo. But I'm really excited to get into this game. I love this game. And I hope you guys enjoy it too. Now it says an EA Redwood Productions. Um, this game was originally made by Visceral. And if you know anything about EA and their history about buying companies and stuff like that. They bought Visceral. They made Dead Space, well, like they, they made Dead Space and then they published it on EA. Uh, and a few years later, they unfortunately were shut down, but all, some of the people who were left behind at EA reformed into EA Redwood. And I wish I could talk for some reason, you. this release on the PC, I'm they sorry. changed it to EA Redwood instead of saying I'm sorry visceral. about everything. But that's the history. I wish I could just talk to someone. Uh, some of the people who were originally from Visceral who developed this game, helped develop this game, actually Great. formed their own studios. I'm forgetting the name of the studios, but they are making a game that's a spiritual successor to a Dead Space set in the PUBG universe for How many times you watch that thing? Called the Callisto Protocol. Yes, you really miss it's her. Called right now. Don't worry, we're almost As there. Recording. You'll be able to look her up once we're I don't know if they're going to end up changing the name, but Sounds apparently like it's set in the PUBG do. universe and it is a, right, like a future horror Sinking game. It kind of looks like it's this taking over that like chunk a, of rock. basically a carbon copy of the inspiration space of, mining uh, is a lucrative business, of Dead Space, so it's, you know, it's them a gold mine wanting to make a sequel reports. to Dead Space, but never Cobalt, being able to get the rights silicone, and stuff, so. Osmium. Now, Check it out, uh, there Crystal Protocol, is. if you're we interested to see what some of the people who made this game are up to. So that's Ishimura. Impressive. The USG Ishimura. Biggest planet cracker in her class. And it looks like they already popped the cork. Why is it all dark? I don't see any running lights. Corporal, take us in closer and hail them. And stay clear of that debris field. We're here to fix their ship, not the other way around. USG Ishimura, this is the emergency maintenance team of the USG Kelgen responding to your distress call. Come in, Ishimura. You're gonna need to boost the signal for the power's low. We know. Planet Cracker, boost one of the signal. first ones ever designed on Earth. More. The USG Shimura, the Sushimura. Never heard of a total communications blackout on one of these things. You'd the think that the thousand people on board someone would pick up the phone. Cool. Literally just like let's rip planets apart and bind the shit out of them. What is that? It's a busted array like we thought. Sounds like they're having problems with their encoder. You get us down there and Isaac and I can fix it. 48 hours max. Alright, you have the lady. Take us in, let's see what needs fixing. Gravity tethers engaged. Automatic docking procedures a go. What the hell? Sir, the auto dock. What is it? We're off track. We're gonna hit the hole. Hit the blast shields. That guidance tethers damaged. Switch to manual. Now. Inside the magnetic field? Are you insane? Abort! No! We can make it inside. Corporal, gave you an order. Field's too strong.
And the best part about this game is just like, it starts heavy. Is okay? It's just like, get the fuck into the what door. What the hell were you thinking? Were you it's trying to get us killed? It's not even give you like a little I bit of saved build up. Asses, Ms. Daniels. If we had a border that that speed and distance, we'd have smashed right into the side of the six board. hours of now terrifying down, death and destruction. Work. Corporal, report. I'm not getting any readings from the port booster, and we've lost comms and oh, autopilot. I kind of forgot to show off the face of Isaac right. Clark. He does have Let's a face. Um, they modeled it off of somebody. They don't have a voice. Hold still, Isaac. Isaac Clark does not have a voice in this ship. game. Which was kind of jarring because it was like okay, we're done. Jack and Cleaned Daxter in, in the sense of like... All right. They had the we've silent protagonist and then for whatever reason in the sequel, they're like, fuck that, let's just have him talk like nonstop. And he's not a bad voice actor, and it's like, it's actually cool, it's just kind of jarring when you come from this game straight into the second game. But you can see our little, uh, employee badge on our chest, you can kind of see Isaac Clarke's face. You do get to see it at the end of the game, anyways. Uh, but yeah. And again, I was talking about this when I was playing, uh, Alan Wake. I love the fact that the menu system is just on your body. So if you can notice the, the green bars on my back, that is my health. There's another little circular uh, thing you right beside it to the right. That's gonna be my stasis, which is just like the slow down time effect on to enemies. Ammo counters on your guns. Uh, when you open up the backpack, this is it. It's like, oh look, it's like a menu, right? But it's actually like a 2D thing, you can move around while you still have it open. Uh, so there's no pause in this game other than like the actual hard pause like this. But when you're in your inventory like this and something like that, you're not safe, so you gotta be careful. Just me, Isaac Clark, engineer. First day, <laughs> not first day on the job, but first, you know, it's just supposed to be like a job like any other. Ship's broken, you gotta go and uh, fix it. Nobody knows what's going on. All we know is there's a distress beacon. Seems like everyone is trying to pack Moving up to find out what happened. There should be a security detail in here. Yeah? Well, there's not. There's nobody here. I can't pick up any broadcasts. That security console is still live. Isaac, log in and see what you can find. Kendra, get that elevator back online. Power's dead. I can't. Then we brute the damn power. Look, if we all cooperate, we can figure this out a lot sooner. Let's get that computer display up, Isaac. Thank you. Use the notator system to find your next objective. Same thing, you don't have to actually open up your map to find out where you need to go. You can actually just right click, and it gives you a nice little uh, indicator where to go. Save the game real quick, save over my old file. Uh, apparently there's like some kind of weird thing that goes on if you have multiple saves, so I'm not going to be like rotating my saves, unfortunately. Which is more of a hassle for me, but I mean, it shouldn't be a problem. If I need to grind, I'll grind off screen and, uh. Yeah. Huh, that doesn't look good. She's taking a lot of damage. The tram system's offline. Getting around's gonna right, be difficult. Alright, shit's fucked. Luckily, I'm an engineer. Again. That's a start. There you Get rid of the Uh oh. What the hell was that? Automatic quarantine must have tripped when the filtration system restarted. Everybody relax. What was that? Did you- Not sure. What the hell? I don't know. Something's in the room with us. Jesus! Over fire! Over fire! Send us power! Send us! Come on. Come on. Got it! Isaac, get the hell out of there! The door oh, God. Run! <laughs> Oh. Run the Liza Gron! Run, Isaac! Get the hell out of there! Well, I'm an engineer, another sprinter. Woo. See ya! 
That was close. Oof. Double roar. Uh, the good thing about Isaac is he actually has way more stamina than fucking uh, Alan Wake and can run forever. So, I mean, that's close. You definitely want that when you're being chased by this, by the demons. And, oh, their limbs. Uh, apparently our AI knows about the, uh, the demons as well. Tells us, you gotta shoot the limbs off, dude. And I feel like EA forced them to put that in. He was like, you can't just have, like, nothing. People are too stupid to understand. Because clearly they just had that sign up there because they knew people would read it and be like, oh, I gotta shoot their limbs off. Don't worry, buddy, I'll save you. Uh, so the thing that's unique about this horror game is, uh, yeah, you shoot the limbs off. It doesn't necessarily kill them. Uh, it will, you know, sometimes, like, change their tactics and they'll lose their limbs a little attack differently. Uh, always be sure to destroy the body so they don't come back to haunt you. Yeah, squishy, squishy. And they'll never come back to kill me. Uh, and they'll change their tactics, and they'll make them slower. So shooting up limbs is the way to go. And here we are, lost and afraid. yet either. We do have an ability that lets us telekinesis things. Oh, we gotta, we gotta move ahead. Alright, oh, yeah, that was a good thing. That this uh, this was set up to have lots of pop bars. So you know, uh, you don't have to like go into your menus and keep healing like crazy. This is Benson. Everybody listen up. They're using the vents. That's how they're getting around the ship. Stay away from Gal! Get back! Get back! <laughs> They designed this game definitely to be as least clunky as possible. It's very intuitive and just very straightforward. Isaac! Isaac! God, I can't believe you made it. Isaac. <laughs> we ran to more of them on the way over here. Are you okay? More what? What the hell are those things? Is that the crew? Keep your voice down. Whatever they are, they're not friendly, and half the doors on this ship are locked because of the quarantine. Now, we have to get to the bridge, but first, we gotta repair the tram system. You're crazy, Hammond. You're gonna get us all killed. If you listen to me, I'll get you out of here alive. Now, what's wrong with the tram? The data board is fried, but there should be a spare in the maintenance bay. There's also a broken tram blocking the tunnel that needs to be repaired. Damn it! Everything is on the other side of this quarantine. We can't reach it from here. No, we can't. But you can. Isaac, if I can get to the bridge, I should be able to access the personnel files. You fix the tram, and I'll help you find the coal. Use the map screen to check objectives and important locations. Now we got our first assignment. Fix the train. Set off to do just that. Put the money on the blockers. Yeah. My inventory should be really low since this is like a new playthrough. I have nothing unlocked. Yeah, our inventory and everything is really low. This is a great game. It takes a lot of uh, beats from other really good survival horrors. 
get an upgrade. You're weak. You're a weak little baby when you first start out. You can become strong with the power nodes. Oh, this seems awful, oddly stiff. And that's because... Lots of stuff you pick up after you play this game a few times. I played through this one probably like seven or eight times. Two I played the shit out of. I probably played that like maybe close to 15. This is through. Benson, Tram Engineering. We think we figured it out. Smith killed one. Listen, forget about shooting him in the body. You gotta cut off the limbs. Grab a cutter, anything like that. Cut them apart. Stays that way. Isaac, be careful. Shooting them in the body didn't seem to work. Go for the limbs. Dismember them. That should do the job. Uh, there's also a good handful of secrets in this game. I'm gonna see if I can remember them. Like that noise. Here we have our stasis module. Looks like that door is malfunctioning, Isaac. Try using the stasis module you just picked up. That's what it does, just kind of just slows them down. Really useful when you got a whole group of necromorphs trying to bite at you. Here you have the Necromorph alphabet that some people have deciphered over the years and they have the full alphabet now. You can actually read these little texts uh, and get little cool tidbits of lore and secrets and stuff from them. Not gonna be doing that. I just can't, can't bring myself to do it. it. Takes too much time. Go search the Pee pee poo poo rooms first. It's out clear. I can hear the voices whispering. They whisper dark things. <laughs> I'm really sad just rolls around anymore. Well, at least, like, they're split off, but they're not working on a dead space, Redwood or anything like that, at least not that I know of. This was, oh, such a, even three, some people hate on that because it was way too more, way more action-y than it was horror-y. But, I mean, it was still good. I don't know, I enjoyed it. Maybe if they just had, like, an, another game come out and they had more horror aesthetics and story beats, you know, it was more like a survival horror again, I would love that, but we'll never know, we'll never get it. This 
swear I get still here one. Oh, oh Jesus! Damn, this game is still good. So good. give you the spooks and scare. We managed to get it back to the repair depot, but now the auto loader. This is how you know this game is timeless. I need a stasis module brought down here now. If we don't get this piece of shit off the tracks, it's gonna jam up the whole system. Notice this arm doesn't stay in place too long, so what do you have to do? Here's your stasis. It's really weird how they can like take these fantastical ideas and actually make it feel like it's a part of like a real world thing. Like, I can imagine it. engineers the actually using the shit. System. When you get the computer online, you'll be able to call the tram Fix from the some control problems. room. Faster the better. I can hear something crawling around out there. And that was a really cool thing about the, this game too, is like... You're not some kind of action hero, you're like some dude on the job. So all your weapons, all your tech and everything is... Literally just what an engineer would be. Like the plasma gun. It's like a little cutting tool using to rip these people's limbs off. Fan replacement complete. All right, we replaced the tram, so now we can head back. Uh, actually, we need a circuit board or something like that. Thing. And cool enemy introductions, or just like you see something out of the corner of your eyes, you see something growling at you, and then you face off. But not like the movie Face Off. More, more like you fight them. Good. There it is. Oh, that's terrifying. An interesting uh, thing about the lore, it's like, how are you killing these things that are already dead? And apparently it's not like... Oh, can you hear whispers? Spooky. You don't actually kill them in lore-wise, you actually just kind of disable them and they become so useless that you're just like, alright, I'm gonna shut down and just not do anything anymore. Isaac, I've patched into the deck security system. It took some work, but I've got the door to the maintenance bay unlocked. The data board should be somewhere inside.
that's one of the most satisfying parts of this game, just stomping on your enemies. Uh oh. Oh! These beings are relentless. I know there's stuff around here. Get real quick. Oh, can't pick up anymore. I'm not hurt or anything, so I don't need these. They're all useless. Good thing about this is there's like an economy in this game, so there's stores and stuff you can sell and get credits on. You need to upgrade, say this is where we want to go. Uh, we have to come back here and uh, get a storage key. Okay. out there. You can't pull me. Should be a slow. Now functional mission day three faulty four D scope. Uh ish SO one still in repair mission day blah, 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 blah. things breaking, just lots of things breaking. You can hear these fucking things. Oh. I like to go for the legs first so that they're slow. I got running on before I even exited, Jesus. I was a maverick. So yes, this is still locked. Oh, no, I got it. Never mind. Data board. Data. Oh, more health I don't need. The power node. Luckily, these aren't a physical thing like they were in the game 2. So you can pick these as much as you want. So we've got two power nodes actually. Nice, nice. Use power nodes to upgrade your weapons and rig. Um, I mean, you could do the whole playthrough with just the plasma cutter. And I think we may do that just for lore wises, I guess. Uh, we definitely want to upgrade our rig. Let's do damage. And we'll upgrade our room. There for now. So yeah, that's how you do the power nodes. You put them in these little slots. So you can see how much you're gonna need to get everything unlocked. And you don't need every single one. Uh, if you're smart, you put them in where you need to, and then you can actually branch out and it's definitely what you want to do early game because you're, you're not going to get a lot of these things. In fact, to fully upgrade everything, it usually takes like maybe like one or two or two or three playthroughs. 
Because it does everything it does carry over and you're being plus That's it, Isaac. Take the board back to tram control and slot it into the computer array. That should get the tram system back online. And you're gonna want uh, more money because that's how you upgrade and get new weapons and upgrade your suit. As in, like, get better suits. Not this one. That was another really cool thing I loved about this game is that you could collect suits. And there was actually special suits that you could get for Xbox 360 and whatnot, which I think is in this game. I think there's a PlayStation one too, like a special PlayStation one. They're really silly, but uh, I think they were fully upgraded. Maybe cosmetic, but it was cool. They look nice, actually. They weren't like, oh, they just make something really cheap, you know, pre order bonuses. They actually put a lot of effort into everything in this game. Sun is gone 